Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to animate a Lego man using Onshape. If you're a fan of Lego and animation, then this video is for you. So let's get started and create this walk cycle. In my previous tutorial, I had modeled the Lego man. I will post a card and link to that tutorial. If you want to follow this tutorial about animation, but have not modeled yet your Lego man, you can make a copy of my file. I will post a link to that in the comment section below. All right, so first let's analyze the movement here. Um, let's have a look at that arm here, that right hand arm, right arm. So it rotates. We applied that made yesterday. But um, now the movement is restricted. And if we imagine like a, a wall clock, the restriction would allow for movement from 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock. So that, that's a 90 degree angle, right? And let's have a look at that lag as well. We get that um, same 90 degrees angle. And with that clock analogy, that'd be from 4.30 to 7.30, something like that, right? And while well, the same thing is going on on the other side of the body, but inverse somehow, huh? So um, when you have a look at the tree, I have to find several um, mate connectors and the revolute um, mates have a limit of the, those 90 degrees. And then there are gear relations between um, the parts. So there's one gear relation between the legs, another one between the shoulders, and a third one between the shoulders and the legs. Okay, so let me stop this animation here. I take this over here. So, there we have our Lego man. I will start by deleting those four mates. Pull the parts apart. That one is fixed. We got a fixed... Um, condition here. Then I will apply one mate connector here. I see the z-axis, y and x. Do that um, one more time for the with that edge. Flip the z-axis and reorient with that button here, the secondary axis, like this. Okay. Now let's apply the revolute mate between those two. Our arm jumps into its position. And then I go into limits. So this is the zero degree position. And let's see, I will um, define a minimum of uh, minus 90, a maximum of zero, and accept that, animate that, and that is what we want, right? All right, we get the left arm. It's in its reset position here. 
And let's go to the other side. I press K to hide those mate connectors and define the next mate connector here. And here, let's have a look. They correspond. I um, pick the revolut command one more time. The revolut mate. Go to limits. And the minimum is zero. The maximum is 90. I animate that. I made a mistake, okay. So I go back to Revolut, edit that, and um, define the minimum with minus 90, the maximum with zero, accept that, animate that, And this time it's um, correct. And now between those two Revolut mates, I will um, take the gear relation, take that one, take that one, reverse the direction, and animate Revolut 1. And there it is. Great. Press K, hide those. And now let's um, work on those legs. So first of all, I'll just double click this and get that in an approximate or an exact 45 degree position. All right. Go into the mate connector, take that edge, accept that, have a look. Here, Z axis going out. Um, go on that face here. And again, um, flip primary axis. Now let's have a look. Um, reorient that. There. Accept that. Go into Revolute. Take those two, we need to edit um, this mate connector, rotate that around Z with um, minus 45. No, with plus 45, huh? 45. All right. Now let's, um, with a revolute mate, take those two. Apply a limit, minimum zero, maximum 90. Accept that, animate that, all right, we got that, do that on the other side, so double click on that one, um, 
45 degrees, right? There, that's how that should be. Um, take the mate connector on that face here, that edge. Okay. One more time. Mate connector on that one. Have a look at that while it's blue, right? Well, we could go into translucent mode. I've turned that around. All right. And let's see, how do we define this here? We need to move it. We know that. Rotate about Z45 degrees. Accept that. Take those two. And now apply limits. Um, from minus 90 to zero. Animate that. No, so it's um, need to redefine, edit that. So it's from zero to 90. All right. There it is. I'll switch into shaded mo mode. Press K, hide those. Now between Revolute 3 and 4, we will apply that gear relation. 3, 4, reverse, OK. Let's animate one of them, animate here. There it is. Great. And now we need to combine um, the upper movement of the arms and the, the movement of the legs. Now let's define that gear relation between Revolute 1 and Revolute 3. Accept that. Go to Revolute 1. Animate that. And there we gave our Lego man some life and he can walk around. And there you have it. That's how you can animate a Lego man using Onshape. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you're inspired to create your own Lego animations. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.